Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will cover how to install Nap Commerce on your local machine. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.70. As you can see on the screen, we have NapCommerce.com pulled up. Before you begin the install, make sure that you have all the minimum requirements to run Nap Commerce. Go to Products, System Requirements. Here you can find all the information on what is needed to run Nap Commerce. Now let's get started with the installation process. First we need to download the latest version of Nap Commerce, which you can do so by going to Downloads, Download Nap Commerce. Here you will see three different versions. The Web No Source version. This package is simply for web deployment. Source code. If you are a web developer and interested in looking into source code or even planning to make some modification in Nap Commerce, then you should download this package. Upgrade script. This is the SQL script that you can simply run on your SQL database to upgrade the previous version of Nap Commerce. For this tutorial, we are going to use source code. Now we are going to download the version. Save file. And let's open the zip file and extract it. Now once you have extracted all the files from the package, Open NavCommerce project in Visual Studio. Once the solution is loaded, you will see libraries, plugins, presentation, tests. For the installation, we will go into presentation, NavWeb, and run the project. While the installation screen is loading, go to SQL Server Management Studio, create a blank database where you would like to install NavCommerce. Let's name the database as knob test database and add it. And here we can see there are no tables since the database is blank. Now let's go back to the installation screen. And on the installation screen, we will enter the credentials for admin account. We do have the option to create a sample database which we will check for this example. We can either install the Knob Commerce on SQL Server Compact or SQL Server Express database using SQL Server. Since we have created the blank database, we will enter the server information here. This is our database name. The server information. SQL username. and SQL password and install. And now NonCommerce has been successfully installed on a local machine. Now if you go back to our database, refresh it and look into the table, we can see all the tables that were installed during the installation process. Go back to the public store, login, and enter the credential that we use during the installation process for the admin account. And here we can go to the admin section. And here is the public store. And this is how we install Knob Commerce on a local machine. And now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knob Commerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you. Mm -hmm.